the danger, especially for sensitive groups, including the elderly. My witness news reporter Howard Monroe is in Franklin Square with ways to safely beat the heat. It's just as muggy as it's been over the past few days, and now city officials are urging you to check in on your loved ones. Philadelphia is now in the midst of its first heat wave of the season. The city is under what is calling a heat caution. The Philadelphia Corporation on Aging hasn't activated its heat line just yet, but its hotline is open to give advice on how to stay cool. The elderly are particularly vulnerable, so the city is asking you to check on family members and neighbors. To help stay cool, the city has over 90 spray grounds at its parks that are open daily. They open Memorial Day and will remain open through Labor Day. Even being out here, you get the breeze, you get the uh, water, just to cool off, keep tensions low, and to keep kids and families happy that they have something to do outside their home, especially given the pandemic of the last year and being so isolated. It really is bringing people out uh, to enjoy each other. Just to keep her cool, um, just because of the heat and you know, just for health reasons. And it's also fun for her to get her and all of her energy out. Now, it's important to note that it is illegal to get into any of the city's fountains. However, the city is in the process of opening up its pools. They plan to do this within the next few weeks to have them fully operational by mid July. Also, if you're looking for work, the city needs lifeguards. The pay is about $17 an hour. In Franklin Square, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.